Welcome to Backyard Plinkin. My name is Charles, and uh, I know, it's been a little while, but <laughs> trust me, I've tried to make this video for like four days. There was a crisis, and then rain one day. One day the wind was blowing so hard, all you heard was nine minutes of whoo, no matter what I did. One day the United States military thought it'd be a great day to burn up, I don't know, several thousand gallons of jet fuel. I am not complaining about it. Don't get me wrong. Anytime I hear a piece of military equipment running, it sounds like freedom. I love it. Just, I wish they would kind of separate a little bit further apart, especially when they go right over the eve of my house. And it's kind of like watching a bunch of people in a stadium. The shingles are doing the wave all the way up. I think they burnt some of the leaves off of this holly tree. Anyway. My problems. <clears throat> this, you know, the last video I did, uh, we were making the, our homemade clay targets out of the Crayola stuff. This is what I was using. And I told you we'd get back to it, and eventually we did. Nice, huh? Yes, it is made by Diana. Now, this is the Bandit series, and they've been around for a while. It's um, you know, not uncommon to run across one. This you're not just going to walk in and pick up off of the shelf, but I found this thing. It was a really good price. I couldn't resist. It is 22 caliber. You can get it .77. You can get it in uh, 22 caliber. It is pre-charged pneumatic. If you're going to get a pre-charged pneumatic, if you're going to get a P PCP air gun, invest money, get a really good three-stage pump. Uh, I did quite a while back when I bought the uh, um, Wildfire from Benjamin. Anyway, this little fella. If you look around on the internet, you can find anywhere from 139 to 179. It just kind of depends on where you look. The front sight is fixed. You will have to put a little bit of white paint on there to at least see what you're looking at. The rear sight is fully adjustable. It is a single shot bolt action. It does have safeties down here. The trigger area. They send a neat little thing with this. But first of all, the elephant in the room Look at the size of that grip. Now I got pretty good size hands. All right, now it's not too much for me to be able to grip and handle, but it's all I want. Nice little flat path. That'd be cool, huh? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I'm quite sure if you look, dug around and looked around, you could probably find a replacement grip for this. Something that was a little bit smaller, but. And the actual configuration is in right now for a younger individual, it'd almost be impossible for them to be able to get their hands around this thing. And it's not that heavy, it's only like 2.2 pounds. Um, they advertise it at the 22 caliber at least, running at about uh, 630 feet per second. Now, if we are going to find out, because I finally got a rig built to protect my chronograph, so you know, that's a whole other experiment that we're going to do. Take a couple of shots. Now, in the kit, it also comes with a couple of other items. 17, ah, yeah. This is what we're gonna be shooting today. 17.9 grain, snipper magnums. Uh, it does come with a couple of other little items that I'll show to you here just in a second but got a pretty good wallop safety's a little stiff Ding. very cool so also in the 
little box of goodies. You can see there's some extra O-rings in there for various different parts that uh, it describes in the uh, in the owner's manual. This little piece right here, this is where the uh, your pump would actually plug on. This little section that's right here actually goes. Let's see if I can get it out of here and get a little better look. Let's see if I can do it without dropping on these O-rings. Most of which are standard size that you could find in any hardware store. A little hole is in there. So what happens is that actually goes into that slot right there. Charger up. This is neat though. Uh oh. Pull the bolt back. There's the loading ramp. Remove the loading ramp. See there's a little magnet that's over there? Also one here. They send a seven round rotary magazine. Now this thing is spring loaded. So once you push one of the pellets out and then pull the bolt back again, spring tension gets the next round ready to go. Yeah, it's got a little magnet on it too. It just slides right into the groove. Cool. Let's try it. Gotta get that safety unstiff. pretty hard. Magazine comes right back out. Go right back in with a single loading ramp. Like that. Options. Anyway, I just thought this thing was really neat. I figured I'd show it to you. And like I said, you're not going to pick this thing up off of the shelf, but if you were interested in the uh, uh, a pistol that's you know pre-charged or something like that this would be a good way to go I mean Diane has been around for a while they got a, they get a fairly good name that's out there and uh, I like it really do huh. and we didn't use that much air pressure so and I and it 22 caliber. Cool. Till next time, my name is Charles. In backyard blinking. I think I'll shoot the rest. I wish that I would know.